Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangsters Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom. All of the vehicles in our showroom, we own. We are not a consignment dealership, so when you're dealing with us, you're dealing directly with the seller. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website. It's hangsters.com. This is where you can find all of our most current inventory. We leave our YouTube videos up at all times between our two showrooms for you guys to watch at any given time. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, it comes down off of our website. Today we're going to present to you a 1964 Malibu SS style Chevelle. Um, 283 car, power steering, power brakes, no AC, not a numbers matching car. We have no documentation on when it was painted. Uh, the mileage on the title is exempt on the car. So we do not know the true mileage. Kind of a unique, uh, cool looking car though. Uh, dark blue, navy blue, whatever you want to call it. Um, front bumper, the chrome is uh, in, in good condition there. You'll see your five star Foos wheels, uh, newer uh, Foos wheels there. Uh, Chevelle badging on the front driver's side fender. Uh, window glass on the car, all the way around the car is uh, good. You have a dual chrome mirror set up there with your Chevrolet bow tie on the back. Door fitment down both sides of the car is a very good. Uh, really nice looking car. Uh, cool car to kind of cruise around here in the state of Florida where you can have the top down most of the year. Looking into the interior of the car, you can see somebody has upgraded the lights there with some LEDs. Lights the car up nice and bright when the driver's side door is open. Blue vinyl interior, you can see there's seat belts in the front, no seat belts in the rear. Uh, the carpeting we put in is brand new, uh, blue carpeting. The other uh, carpeting that was in the car was dry rotted, so this is brand new. We put it in. Nobody's even sat in the car yet. Um, dash pad looks good. You can tell it is the original uh, instrument uh, panel up there around the uh, gauges so you can tell there's uh, some discoloration and wear on there but uh, good quality I mean it's it's not uh, cracked up or anything like that same thing with the center console you can tell there is some patina it looks to me like it might be original or uh, it's definitely OEM if it's not original to the car it's definitely an OEM console for sure it's not a Chinese aftermarket or anything like that cool looking car so far. Um, the parade boot for the car is tucked down behind the seat. Um, we're not going to put it on. It is a power top, so I'm going to show you that functioning as well. Uh, the parade boot's tucked down there behind the uh, seat. Um, I didn't put it on because, like I said, I want to show you the top functioning. So, um, Chrome tip there coming out uh, behind the driver's side rear wheel. Take a look, uh, Devin can shoot down the side there for you to show you how good the door fitment is to the front and rear, uh, front fender and rear quarter. Really nice there. Malibu SS, again, SS style car. Um, had this been a true SS, it probably would have started life as a 327. I have no build sheet. I don't, I didn't break down the call tag. Um, we're going to describe it as an SS style. If you guys want to do your homework to figure out if it started life as an SS uh, that's just fine, but we're going to do it as an SS style. Chrome on the rear bumper is good. I'm going to open up the trunk here, and you're going to see that there is no spare. Uh, trunk's been painted. It's nice and solid um, all throughout, and uh, no jack, no spare. So on our website, if you see the vehicle pictured with a spare and with a jack, then there is one coming with the car. If you don't see a spare or don't see a jack, that means when we purchased the car, we didn't get one. Um, no, we don't have extras laying around that we can throw in there. Um, if we did, we certainly would because extra wheels and tires I want rid of anyways. Uh, they seem to accumulate when you buy the amount of cars we do a year. People always want to give you spare parts. Um, deck lid fitment to the rear quarters is good on both sides. Again, you have another um, chrome tip there coming out of uh, the passenger side rear behind the rear tire. Again, check out the door fitment on the passenger side. It's just as good as the driver's side. Really good body lines on this car on, on both sides. As I mentioned earlier, you do have a chrome mirror on the passenger side, which is a good thing. Um, 
Again, same thing when you open up the uh, passenger side door here, you see the LEDs illuminate. Um, somebody has custom made some cup holders there, I guess, probably where the smudge pot used to be. It's uh, stuck in there. So you can, that's a good thing because you don't realize how uh, important cup holders are until you don't have them. I've taken these cars home from time to time or ran them in shows and been looking for a spot to put my drink in. It's like you're clenching it between your legs. Um, hood fitment to the front fenders is good too. Uh, lines up nice and nice and pretty there. Uh, overall paint quality on the car. It's a driver quality paint job. I have not seen any areas of concern as far as the paint goes. Um, no fades, no blistering, cracking. Um, bubbles, anything like that. So it's a pretty good looking car so far. The, uh, the, the dark blue, the navy blue has a nice look to it with the uh, chrome foos wheels offsetting it. Uh, drop tops are always cool, uh, good cruising car. So let's take it out on a rack and put it in the air and uh, check out what it looks like underneath. I stand corrected in my earlier statement. We are underneath our 1964 Malibu SS. And I guess the VIN 458 uh, does mean the car started life as an SS car. <clears throat> so, you know, you got to be very careful in the business what you uh, classify as a true SS, an SS clone, and real, not real. You know, it's, it's kind of a, a fine line sometimes, but um, I guess it was a real SS car to start life. And right now it has disc brakes in the front and disc brakes in the rear that you'll see here in a little bit. It's a really nice looking car underneath. This car was purchased here in Florida and spent the majority of its last, I'd say, probably say 20 years in Florida. I don't have the entire history and pedigree of the car, but um, I can assure you it's been a southern car for a long time because it's a uh, nice, solid structure underneath here. Floor pans look good. Um, I kind of passed it up because you can see a cross member here and you know a lot of stuff shoved up there, but I don't see any oil down on the starter, down on the sides of the oil pan on the cross member, uh, no transmission fluid in the tranny pan there. <clears throat> it's all nice and dry. I'm going to say at this time, because uh, if you own a classic car, especially right now, I know it's snowing up north like crazy. If it's in storage for an extended period of time, you know, months on end. Uh, seals, O-rings, gaskets, things of that nature, they're going to dry out, they're going to become brittle, they're going to crack from not getting run, not getting used, and you are going to develop leaks. And even if you're down here in a beautiful sunshine state, um, you know, car sits, it's an old car, it's going to develop leaks. So, you know, it's not your brand new uh, 2021 Mercedes-Benz or anything like that, uh, where there's all the precision mechanics that we're used to today. Uh, these cars will leak in uh, three months after they were bought brand new, so they're going to leak now. Um, again, floor pans on the car in good shape. You have a dual set of MagnaFlow mufflers. <coughs> E-brakes hooked up. Um, no leakage out of the tail shaft seal, out of the Speedo cable. Uh, both of those nice and dry. 12-bolt uh, rear you'll see here in a little bit. Uh, when you're checking out our website, when you read the descriptions, if it says Posi Traction in the description, it is a Posi rear. If it does not say Posi, then it is not a Posi rear. Uh, dual chrome tips coming out there behind the rear tires that you guys saw on the uh, showroom presentation. Looks to me like a brand new or newer gas tank. This one's not dented, uh, as a, a lot of them that come through our showroom are. Great looking car. Um, car has a lot of character to it. Uh, real nice looking uh, automobile here. Drop top, fun stuff. I just did the undercarriage presentation a couple minutes ago. I did the showroom presentation for you, but come down here and do your own presentation. And what I mean by that is check out the car underneath. Check it out out in the sunshine. Drive it. Put your hands on what you're, uh, what you're buying, what you're interested in. Uh, we encourage all of our buyers uh, to come on down in person and again, drive, take a look at, and see what you are actually purchasing. We try to represent our cars as honestly and as accurately as we possibly can. We're not going to catch everything. We're not going to see everything. Um, with that being said, about 90% of our business is done online, and it's done sight unseen. We make a lot of people happy. We sell a lot of cars per year. Uh, we do a very good business. Um, but like I said, it's always best when you come uh, in person. Financing. Yes, we do. If you're not a cash buyer, 
or you have the cash to buy it, you don't necessarily want to part with it right now, that's okay. <clears throat> we do offer financing on these cars. Um, well, not us. We provide you three different uh, collector car lenders that we work with. Um, they will offer up to a 10-year term on our vehicles with approved credit. 10% down is going to be your minimum. And um, your monthly payment rate and term is going to be based on your credit score, debt-to-income ratio, and things like that. So, we are in December here in Daytona. We are going to leave the top down on this car. We are at a brisk 59 degrees today, so I am going to put on a hoodie because I'm not doing a convertible presentation with the top up. That's too boring. So let's take it out. The sun is out, so that's a good thing. That'll add a little bit of warmth. Um, let's take it out on the drive and show you how it runs. Inside our uh, 64 SS Malibu. Wipers. Functioning. Horn. Functioning. Turn signals. I don't know. You can't see it in the sun, I guess. Driver's side. Passenger side. Uh, the fuel gauge in the dash is not functioning. We put a external fuel gauge down there at the bottom that is functioning. Uh, temperature and oil both. Oh, I'm sorry. Amperage and oil both functioning. And the temp is as well, but we just started the car, so it's not up yet. Um, this freaking sun glare is killing me. The radio does work. Can't find a station right now because, well, let's see here. No, I can't find a station right now because of the sun, but it works. Radio's working. Uh, convertible tops power. I'm not going to bore you guys putting it all the way up and all the way down, but there's up. There's down. And it does go all the way up and all the way down. Uh, let's see. Turn the radio down here. Oh, hey, there we go. Oh, I found the station, but all right, I'm going to turn it off. Okay, where were we? Um, showed you the turn signals. Uh, manual overdrive switch for the transmission there, located next to the fuel gauge. Clock in the center. Clock is not functioning. Told you about the cup holders earlier. There's a close-up of the center console. Like I said, I don't know if it's original to the car or not, but it's definitely OEM and definitely from the 60s. Um, what else? I think that's about it. This car runs fantastic, so we're going to take it out. Oh, I'm test driving in 59 degree weather, so people are going to look at us like we're nuts, but hey, what are you going to do? At least it's not 30 like it is up north right now. But this car runs pretty good. We're going to show you that right now. car runs fantastic. You let go of the wheel. It doesn't pull to one side or the other. Nice and straight. Great response in the steering, almost instant on this car. Car has good acceleration. Speedometer is accurate, 50 miles per hour. It's not bouncing around. Well, it's dropping now because I took my foot off the uh, throttle, but it's not bouncing around, holding nice and steady. Hopefully, you can see that. We got a lot of sun glare here today. Coming up on uh, middle afternoon, early evening, and the sun's uh, about to set in the west here shortly. So we got excessive sun glare. The uh, power disc brakes all the way around this car work fantastic. Look, stop. Car doesn't pull. This car has a lot going for it. Like I said, brand new carpeting. You can see the uh, patina on what I believe to be the original uh, center console. You can see the, uh, the wear here on what is probably the original um, panel around all the instrument cluster there, all your uh, speedo and fuel gauge, temp gauge, clock, all that stuff. We are going to, uh, as soon as the light turns green here, we're going to run it through the uh, gears. There is the passenger side turn signal, if you could not see it earlier with our sun glare. So we're at a green light here. We'll see what this uh, pickup truck and truck do. Uh, 
he's going to pull in front of me. I hate when people mess up my test drive videos. There we go. Well, that's 80. I'm going to start braking here. This car's got good, uh, good get up for what it is, that's for sure. I'm going to have to send it to the alignment shop and have the steering wheel straightened out. It's uh, too off for my liking. I probably should have done that before the video, but I didn't realize the wheel was off that much. So I will get that done. A real nice car. Should be offered at a, a good price point. Will include shipping and warranty at full retail price. So check us out. Hankster's.com is our website. We are located in Daytona Beach, as I have mentioned several times during this video presentation. Today we're going to put up, this being a convertible, probably close to 100 photos of this car, as well as this video presentation we're doing for you right now. Um, I mentioned throughout the video, number one, we own all of our cars, so we have the inventory. Number two, uh, we offer shipping and warranty at full retail price. Number three, we got financing in place if you guys need it. So reach out to us. Our contact phone in Daytona Beach is 386-944-9219. One more time, our website is hanksters.com. Uh, we would love to earn your business. We have a growing customer base here, not only in the United States, but throughout the world. We do export these cars and we ship them all over the world. Again, we'd love to uh, earn your business, add you as a customer. So check us out, contact us through our website, make an offer tab, text us, email us, call us by phone. We would love to earn your business. Hankster's Hot Rods, check us out.